everyone, Kate here, and today I will be sharing with you an article from The Ugly Girl Papers, which is one of my favorite Victorian era beauty books. This particular section of the book outlines the potential dangers of using metal hairpins, specifically when using the pins for crimping purposes. A lady would not normally have pinned her hair up for bed with pins, unless of course she was trying to curl or crimp it. On a side note, I love the result pin waves give to the hair. It's a simple and effective way to set one's hair in waves overnight. Highly recommend, and it's not as dangerous as this article might suggest. Little disclaimer before we begin, that this is just one example of a belief in the Victorian period. As far as I know, it wasn't a hugely popular theory. At least it wasn't one that was mentioned in any of the other beauty books that I've read from this era. Well, with that little preamble over with, let's get on with the article. It is not good to put the hair up on metal pins or hair pins overnight for two reasons. The perspiration of the head will rust the pins insensibly so that they will cut the hair. And contact of the iron with the sulfurous gas, given out by the hair during sleep, tends to darken and render the color displeasing. Rubber crimping pins, fastened by a rubber catch, are a late invention and a great improvement. But a loop of thick elastic cord is better than anything. The hair is woven in and out as on a hairpin, the elastic holds it when the fingers are withdrawn, and it is pleasanter to sleep in than half a dozen stiff pins. I know more than one piquant little lady whose naturally waving tresses are the admiration of her friends by this simple means. And as this process has gone on for years without lessening the flow of ruffled hair, it must be conceded that crimping does not always hurt it. Iron hairpins hurt the head more than a generation of friseurs. The latest accusation against them is that they draw off the healthy electricity of the head. And to a generation which complains of paralysis from using steel pens and uses patent glass insulators for the legs of its bedsteads, this will seem no frivolous charge. The patent insulators are a fact. Their use is advised by medical men for all neuralgic, rheumatic, and sleepless people, and one of the largest glass firms in New York makes their manufacture a speciality. The patent and perfect hairpin is not yet invented. Rubber pins are clumsy, if harmless, but there are gilt hairpins made of a yellow composition metal, which are pleasanter to use than common ones and very becoming in blonde hair. Dark-haired people must stick to the rubber pins, or at least see that their black ones are well japanned so as not to cut their locks. Okay, wow, I feel like there's a lot to unpack in this little article. First off, I can understand the possibility of rusting pins damaging the hair. Rusted sections could be sharp and break the hair, and rust does also stain, so perhaps there is some truth in the darkening effect suggested by the author. However, I highly doubt it's because the hair releases sulfur gas at night. Hair does naturally contain sulfur as part of its structure, which can be released when you burn it. But, I could find no evidence that the hair somehow leaks any significant amount of sulfur gas while you sleep. I'm willing to be corrected by any biologists out there, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. I also think it's pretty safe to say that there is no danger of your hairpin sucking all that healthy electricity out of your head, nor using your metal pen causing paralysis. <laughs> Part of me wonders if perhaps some of these metals at the time were contaminated with more dangerous substances, such as lead, or if they were just being wrongly blamed for problems caused by something else. In all fairness to the Victorians, electricity was not well understood by this point in history, so the fears surrounding this mysterious and admittedly dangerous force is understandable. Regardless of the reason, worry not, dear viewers. 
you can use modern hairpins, even at night, without risking death. Well, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreon members. Thank you.